you want to be a journalist, then I think you have to essentially be nosy uh, to be able to find a good story and to be passionate about pursuing it. And I think it's the pursuit of the story, uh, thinking laterally about the way to get the best out of your story. Uh, but as journalism students, I think what you've got to demonstrate is a passion for whatever. It could be stock car racing, it could be mountaineering. I think dig into your passion because when you go for prospective employment and people are going to say, well, what, what, do you, what, do you really, what do you care about? And I think you've got to be able to deliver that because presumably they'll know you've got a good degree from here. They need that extra bit because they're going to get a lot of letters through the door box or emails popping into their inbox. And you've got to stand out. So you've got to try and do as much as you can uh, to, as it were, embellish your CV in a good way to get seen. I don't think you can be too eager, you can be too forceful. I think the only time to be forceful is when you're really trying to get that interviewee for that story you're doing. I think you should be eager, I think you should be not watchful, but you should watch and listen and find as many different ways to be helpful when you're on a placement. And don't be afraid to ask questions. Ask questions of people who know what they're doing. If they don't tell you the answer, then they're rude. I think people should be sharing and generous in their knowledge. Uh, so do not be afraid to ask questions but always be available to help, always be asking what you can do. I think a knockback should be seen as one step ahead, not one step back, and then just go for it the next time. But in between the knockback and the next application, you could be thinking, don't put in exactly the same CV. Think about how you could do it better. Think about something you could contribute to it uh, to make it better. I mean, you know, it's always the stuff that, you know, I'm sure you're told a million times, but you should be looking for stories everywhere. If it's in the localist of local newspapers, you know, in the street, talk to people, talk to police officers, do lots of things. Try and find stories that you can then have written up and have either sold, preferably, or given to newspapers so that you can say that you've been published.